And good morning, welcome to Planet Herring. I'm Michael, and this is iRacing 2020 Season 3, Week 2, doing a morning race this week. A little bit uh, out of my normal time and what have you. But we're going to give this a shot. Uh, getting ready to go on Epic Adventure. And so I am home this morning, so we're going to try to get some of our races, or at least one of them, out of the way here for the week. This is the NTT IndyCar Fix Series. We're in Michigan this week. Didn't do too badly in the race last week after I got, uh, got one where I finished. I think it was a 6th or a 7th place. Was hanging quite nicely with the leaders. Of course, we are getting ready to go to qualifying in about a minute here. Of course, this is a fixed setup. They have added a couple of things like your bar blade positions and there's a wicker or a weight jacker that you can adjust in the race now. Haven't played with those. Guess we'll see how competitive I am to do some research there. But I'm going to go ahead and set my Standard steering offset, which is 10 usually. And you get about 1.79 gallons of fuel uh, with this race for qualifying. So we're going to take it down about 0.1. See if we can get the maximum effect out of this. Of course, the race itself is 60 laps. They are quick laps. All right, so here we are. We're getting ready to go to Quali. Let me switch over to the telemetry view. There we go. And go ahead and hit the Quali button. There we go, 1.79 gallons of fuel. And let's go ahead and burn it down to 1.68. Gonna check my gauges screen, make sure we're not doing any untold damage to so you go any lower than that and you risk pit lane speed limit is fifty-five miles per hour. Pit exit's clear. We have two laps to set a decent time. You completely risk running out of fuel on your poly laps. So ramp it up just as quick as you can. Car is pretty stable. And we're gonna pretty much just hug the line here. Not gonna swing out too widely. I also don't wanna burn off a whole bunch of speed. Let it crank up. To sixth gear. Let's swing around real nice and easy on that yellow line. Don't swing out too far. We're shooting for low 54s. Nice and tight there. Keep it all the way tight. I'm not going to go down onto the apron for this. I, I'm sure people are doing it. It offends my sensibilities. P3. So let's bring it down nice and tight. Slide around this corner. Make the track as short as we can. Thirty-two eight so far. Let's keep it right on the line here. And there we go. So Before you're now zero point zero seven off the pace. Zero point zero seven. We're at fifth. Let's see how many people knock us down. Down to sixth. As you can see, used about half a gallon per lap. Had point eleven remaining. Probably could have taken it down a couple of notches. But once it gets down below point one gallons, the engine starts sputtering on you. Currently, oh, going down the order real quick. 
Uh, not as bad as what it was last week, though. 32.679. Ever so slightly. Not even... Not even a tenth is where we're at here. And we are currently in ninth place. So that, that's a close top right there. So we got uh, not even a tenth between first and ninth where I am. Now I'm in tenth. Still all within that tenth. If I, you know, if I get a chance to run a few more laps, I see if I can figure it out. It could be either getting a better launch out of the the pit area. I kind of flipped it into second early. I maybe could have gotten a f another few hundreds if I'd have gotten a better first gear start. Uh, maybe just a little less fuel. And then of course there's always the always the line itself. Maybe I held it in too close, scrubbed off too much speed, or vice versa. Should have held it down low the whole time. Of course, then there is the ever, ever present idea that some people may have used the apron. So, yeah, we are now down to 12th. It's still all within that 10th, too. That is amazing. 13th, we're definitely down in the danger zone now. We're going to have to watch out for um, issues. Uh, one of the things about running, at least as far as U.S. time zones are concerned, one thing about running early morning races is that you typically get uh, more European drivers and certain series Europeans are not as familiar with. So be a little too aggressive sometimes. That's the end of the session. P13. But we'll see. You never can tell. Sometimes it works out. It's not as bad as Indy. Indianapolis attracts a lot of drivers who don't normally drive IndyCar. All right, so we're going to get the setup real quick on the... There we go, there's 10th plus on that. Go ahead and get gridded up here. Of course, not to say that European drivers are bad drivers. In fact, they are, they are incredibly fast in my opinion. It's just that certain genres of racing are less popular in certain areas. Just like Formula One doesn't have the following in the US that it should. And as a result, the familiarity with a particular type of racing may not be as high. So, and these cars do look a lot like F1 cars, except now that they have their little canopies, but we shall see. So we're getting ready to go here in 45 seconds. Starting kind of at the back. No fast repairs on this race, so you do have to watch for that. Uh, there will be tire changes and fuel stops. So depending on the pit stops themselves. Say watch later. Make sure we are not muted. All right, we are not muted. Here we go. Well, watch later, assuming this isn't a horrific fireball fiasco. 13th so place. Like we are the air temp is 78 Fahrenheit. So we do Good have luck, some guys. work to do. Good luck. We do have some work to do. Follow car number 14 in the inside column. It's nice and spaced out here at Michigan. Getting ready, 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 getting ready. And come on. There you go. You can do it. Turn the wheel. All right. Well, hopefully the, yeah, you, you don't pass in the pit. I don't care 
how fast do you think I am or am not going? Of course, on this, it will not give you a penalty for going too fast in the pits because you're just trying to keep up. Speaking of keeping up, can we get there? Hey, come on, let's uh, let's get this created up. Good luck, guys. Buena suerte, chicos. Buena suerte. Good luck. We need to catch up to car number 14. Yeah, that took a disturbing amount of time. All right, so here we go. Watch for the lights. Go, go, go. Okay, not sure why we're not catching these guys faster. Okay, so now we're doing this. Hold your line. You clear high. You've got a car on the outside. Hold your line. Still there. You clear high. Okay, Michael. The next car is Rodriguez, E14. Car high. Okay. Hold your line. Three wide, you're in the middle. You clear outside. Car okay, inside. So we need to do a little drafting here. Clear all around. Although I'm not quite certain why I am. We've got a car on the inside. 16th place. Hold your Getting line. Left. You're clear inside. Car low. Hold your line. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. Inside clear. We've got a car on the inside. Still All right. There. Still there. Hold your line. Your lap time will clear low. Carlo. Hit window for fuel will open on lap 13. It'll close on lap 36. Clear inside. There's a car on your inside. Still there. All right. Well, I have obviously not got something right. 17th place. I am way back here in the mess, that is for certain. You've just done a 33.00. You've got a car low. Still there. 
Hold your line. Clear low. Inside. Oh, this is not good. You're clear inside. That light was outside. Still there. Clear high. Hold your line. Still there. Clear low. B13. That lap time was 33.72. Okay, let's catch up now. was a 33.24. Well, I take back what I said. These guys are absolute professionals. Alvaro, take cuidado. Can't believe that didn't bring out a caution. Oh, we had a touch, we had a touch. Inside. Ooh, that, inside. That was close. Don't know how much damage we got. A little too much scrub. Got a zero X for it. Still can't believe. P15. Wow. Frame rate's dropping a bit. Not too badly. Garrido is now in the lead. I feel like I'm definitely suffering here. The gap to Bellard ahead is increasing. It's now 1.09. That was a 33.53. behind 
really knew when the gap's now one and one zero. Oh, I just done a 33.32. Very disappointed in myself, really. P15. Come on, let's catch him just a little bit. Just done a 33.43. Yes. That's good consistency, keep it up. Car inside. You're clear inside. Keep up with this guy. Got a car on the inside. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Clear inside. Inside. Hold your line. Inside clear. The gap in front is now 0 0.14. Garrido is now leading.
a car on your inside. Still there. Well, I would have to say that this Clear is low. not my finest performance. Um, I suspect that my... P17. Lack of knowledge of the car is the problem there. Full course uh, come caution, be careful. Race cars out, line up single file behind car number 16. We're under caution, it's closed. Se veía venir, eh? Estaba haciendo ese esto el puto rato, eh? Desde atrás se veía feísimo. Okay, well. Not in the greatest of spots. Venga, juntito que, que se abre el pin ley, eh. Down three, four guys. And we are almost halfway there though. That was very impressive run. Yo por eso desde el distancia, a mí ya me envió por la muro, me dio un portero, me mandó todo. Very, very rare to see at a IndyCar race go that long. Wow, I mean, I am amazed. The leader, Garrido, is pitting. All right, so... Watch your speed. The pit lane speed limit is 55 miles per hour. All right, Michael, we'll fuel you to the end of the race. Box in, five. Four, three, two, one. Box now. Okay. Well, I don't know if we managed to hold on to that or not. Looks like we might be in 15th now. But we're fueled up. Maybe, just maybe we'll be able to keep up a little bit. I think I totally creamed my tires. Can't say that I am uh, hmm, liking some of these settings. Full course yellow, pits are open. Yep, there's our weight jacker. So I guess we just have to. Okay, Michael, get ready. Race will resume at the end of this that. lap. But, like I said, we are essentially at the halfway point. Probably got another 25 minutes or so to go. We'll see how it goes. I, I may just bow out of this one. Feeling I'm not really feeling it. Seems like I need something. This field is so spread out. Hey, reduce your dad, the gas, please. Go there, go there. Green 
Green, 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 let's go. V14. your line. Still there. On the outside. Well, that didn't work. That Still outside. We've got a car high. What the hell? Okay, Michael. Halfway home. We've got Clear high. Car high. V16. Well, that was a 34.82. Hold your line. You clear outside. Car high. Hold your line. You clear high. On the outside. All right. What the hell clear is outside. wrong with this car? It's not just a little bent fairing. Okay. B19. I mean, got a car load. no matter what line I take, Hold your line. In what gear, when I come off this... Still there. Clear low. Ooh, okay. Jeez. I, I, I do definitely feel like I've got something wrong with this car. P20. Your lap time was 33.00. front of us is Hughes. That's your quickest lap in this session. Hold your line. Clear high. Car low. Clear inside. Got a full course caution. Watch out. Sorry, didn't expect you to check up there. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car number 20. It's fine, you got loads. All right, folks. Well, I think with that, we are going to drop out of this race. Obviously, I am off the pace. Obviously, I am not doing too well. This is probably the worst IndyCar race I have had in a seriously long, long time. So I'm going to drop out of this one. Probably won't even maintain this, uh, this stream. And uh, anyway... Thanks for watching, and as always, here's the end card. Hey guys, Michael here. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, go ahead and click that like button. Click on the Planet Herring logo to subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you think about the video in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon.